Hello. So today, I'm really looking forward to playing this game, especially because it's going to be my first playthrough on the channel. Um, I'm going to be playing Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Now the toss up was between Life is Strange and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but I love those games so much that I really couldn't decide which one to play. I got really um, frustrated and stressed because I just couldn't decide b between them both. So I thought, screw it, I'm not doing them both, I'm going to do another game that I enjoy. That is good. Um, I was going to do a case per episode, but these cases are like an hour long. Well, I, I, I don't know how long they are, but I might just do half an hour, 45 minute episodes on these. Um, so sit back and, and enjoy. Take a load off and, and just... <laughs> inspects my detective skills pretty much how terrible I am um, so I have played this game before as you can t as you can see um, but I don't think I've ever actually completed it so I'm gonna be starting a new game anyway so let's get going three two one I don't have some type I I don't think I've got subtitles on, have I? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think I do. One thing I didn't realise about this game either is you can actually switch between um, Watson and Sherlock Holmes. Which, like I said, I didn't even realise. Okay, The Fate of Black Peter. Now, as I can remember, I believe this Black Peter fellow was um, murdered. Oh, I remember the first time I played this game, I, I really got stressed over doing this case because it just did my head in because I had no idea what I was doing. No, uh, almost dropped my controller on the floor. Good start, Ed. <laughs> There he is. Imagine if he was reading his own book. He was reading Charles Dickens. <laughs> I actually think this is a copyrighted song. I'd forgotten about this. Go on, Watson, take him down. Stop the copy. There we go. Oh. I'd actually forgotten that that song was in this game. Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. aiming for the vases. There is subtitles on. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? <laughs> Just blows Holmes' head off. I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. 
an ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired Sounds good. In 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. Indeed you will. Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Right, off to So that's the map evidence. Okay, I'm not. F I may need to get changed actually. That might be the that be that might be why I can't leave. And I can't seem to remember where is this. I'm I'm not going to lie. That is a pretty nice dressing gown. So it would appear that that is Watson's bedroom. Gotta find my bedroom now. I take it this is mine. Yeah. Let's go with a casual suit. Have I actually put it on? Yep. Wait, I could have makeup. What makeup can you have in this game? Whoa. Some of these actually look quite, quite good. <sighs> right, can I go to the case now, or have I still got to do some shiz here? Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you made here. Uh, finally, I can leave. Ah. It's pretty good that Holmes in his carriage works as the loading screen. I really like that touch. And I I never realised how this game is made in Unreal Engine, and I'm using Unreal Engine at college. I had no idea that an engine like that could make you know a game such as this. This looks phenomenal. I can't remember when this game came out. 
It probably, I think it came out a couple of years when I, before I'd first played it. And a sequel, is it, I, I don't know if it's a sequel or a prequel. Um, Mr. Holmes? Hello. Um, I do plan to play Sherlock Holmes' The Devil's Daughter on the channel as well, at some point. I definitely will. When will you remove my husband's body? But I'm not sure when. As soon as we can. Kearney, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I don't... Okay, let's... Right. Okay, she's got a quite a freaky look about us, so I'm not going to lie. I've got birdhouse. And it would appear she is religious. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time. He was <sighs> when was the body found? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open. But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. Go your conscience. At ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and open it. Maybe she's just wearing... She's got the cross on her hand just to seem religious. Just to show... Just to create an illusion that she would never do something like this. But ho ho! Oh, she is the murderer. Was Wait. your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Do evening before. What occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Everything will become easier. Will become easier. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness. How do you know about that? I don't... I don't know. Are there any documents, or...? Um, profile. Shh, shh, damn. You have indeed. Yes. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return? So, pilgrimage. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, yes, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage. To the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. Ah. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter I knew that. as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. 
Thank you, madam. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. I reckon you could do it. No, boss. Mr. Holmes? Mr. I have no idea what your name is. It seems that the garden was well maintained. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Good, good. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. These scratches are fresh. Wow. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. <sighs> Seems to me that like the only tool in this plot was the actual bloke who tried to break into the, to the shed in the first place. Hmm. Oh my god! What a terrible way to die. Oh, rough night, pal. Yeah, that's gonna hurt in the morning. You'll definitely feel that when you wake up. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. No, it couldn't have been that bad. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. What? Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his name. Ah, right. Right, that, yeah, that makes sense. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. Ouch! Anything else? Ah, damn it. Uh, so there's nothing on top of there. J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Right. J-H-N. Right, that is who I'm looking for. This What's with all the Nord... <laughs> What's with all the Nord school themed weapons? This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife. But he did not succeed. Is there anything else I can inspect on this? No, it would appear not.
So I, it would seem I haven't examined all of the pool of blood, but I don't know what else there is to look for. Maybe it's just because I can't pick up the notebook or or what not. Yeah, that was me. I, I had a JD and Coke. It was PC Principal from South Park, that's who the murderer was. Black Peter wasn't PC, so PC Principal murdered him. I thought that was weed. This aroma is familiar. What on earth? Must construct my associations in one picture. So it's n is it? It's a pirate ship, isn't it? How on earth do I do this? Right. Am I sick or is this is this genuinely troubling? I feel like I'm trying to make my own 3D game. Bloody hell. Right. So if I line that up there, and if that goes there, where does this. Oh my god.
Can I press anything else? Oh, God. What do I do? You know what, I'm really sorry about this guy, I'm just going to have to skip, because... Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Are you kidding me? I only had to move it one inch to the left and then it would work. I can't believe that. Oh my god. Is there anything for me to, for me to Right, what's in here? Peter carries boots. They look to be a size eight. That's my size. <laughs> Old navigation instruments. <sighs> Ships logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to Well, considering it's on his shelf, it might have been his first catch. Wait, there's more. Is that all? Is it? Okay, so maybe I can look. The murder weapon was probably taken from 
so maybe I can look at the ship's logs back at the back at Baker Street. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? I believe I have. Okay, so maybe I can talk to Miss Carey about this missing box. Indeed I can. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. So it might have been a tobacco spout, a tobacco pouch. He might, he might not have just used it for ages. The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true, Ooh, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Impressive. Nice garden. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Thank you, madam. Right. Mr. Holmes? Right, um, is there anything else I can look for? Wait, what was that? Uh, I've already seen this. Someone under his pillows, or right? I'll go out and see what's what. If there's any, if there's anyone in this gun I can talk to, because there's got to be. Oh, right, where are these footprints? Here we go. Wait, am I in first person?
Okay, it seems to me that I am in first person and I have no idea how to get out of this. It still looks good in first person though, to be fair. Can I get in here? Nope. I'll see if Watson has got anything to say. Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? Right. I literally have Mr. Holmes. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Right, is there nothing else I can look for? I looking for? I did see at the start of the video that my detective skills weren't that great. Oh my lord. Mr. Holmes? Oh god. Can I get in this? No, I can't. See if I can talk to you. Just need all I have to do is press B to get out of first person. Right. Is there nowhere else I can go? I've been over there. In here, perhaps. Right, the garden's been examined. Oh, hello. what's this? Mr. Holmes. appear to be quite large. Right. Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? Uh, yeah, I have. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. What do I do? Mr. Holmes?
Peter Carey was in pain. Is there anything on the harpoon or Can I open this notebook? Oh my dear lord. See, I want to go back to Baker Street and inspect the ship's logs, but it's... It seems that I, I have to look for things here more, but the only problem is I have no idea what I'm looking for. The shovel. No. Oh my god. You know what guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. I, I need to try and figure out what I need to do for this case because, you know, if I'm just wand wandering, or wandering around aimlessly looking for, sh looking for stuff, then it's annoying for me, it's, it's boring for you guys to watch, and frankly, in that case, it's not fun for either of us. Well... I mean, come on. Can I ask what if her husband had massive feet or something or anything? Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? Mr. Holmes? Right. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to see more of my terrible detective skills, and I will see you next week. Ta-da!